Damn, what is up guys, Mike X Bacon Gaming here, bringing you my build, finally, in my new case, The View 31 from Thermal Take. Hope y'all enjoyed that intro, that is pretty much the finished build, but I did want to also include the step-by-step -step process, just a brief one here. I didn't quite do a time lapse or anything, but I did do some clips of each process and wanted to go over some problems I had, so first I pretty much gutted it out, started from scratch. And you can see I installed my motherboard and GPU was already in there. I'm sorry, CPU was already in there. Like I said, I just took this out of my old computer case. Front fans, as you can see here, I had to decide what I wanted to do. I had all kinds of problems with it. Decided to just center the two 40 millimeter fans. Uh, of course, I got my power supply in there. That's a 40 miller in the back that it comes with. So these are all the fans it comes with. This little bracket up here, you can slide it up and down. So I just decided to center them. Can't fit three 40 millimeter fans, and I didn't want to put the three 20 millimeter fans at the front because I needed those for other places. So I decided just to center those two 40s. So I was pretty happy with how it looks. Onto my cooler, installed my Kraken X52, able to put it up kitty corner on the top plenty of room up there so it stays away from the motherboard plenty of room it's very nice able to see my LED our RAM still kinda got it out of the way so it's all coming together now we're gonna move to my SSD and my hard drive I decided to just install them in the back it does come with a drive cage in the front but you can take those apart and stick them on the back they just clip right in like so Here's the cage, so you can just pull those out and use them as you need. I just wanted the room in front for, wasn't sure at this point what I wanted to do, but I know I wanted that empty. Now onto the front, the next piece I did was my GPU. You can do a vertical GPU install if you get the right parts, but I just put it in this right now until I get the one I want, because that's my next upgrade is my GPU, but right now I got the RX 480. All right, so now we got everything wired up wanted to make sure at least everything was powered on connected right from what I got so far and BAM hit the power button everything lights up but my Kraken so the cooler wasn't on had to turn it off plug that in and then we turned it on again and there it is finally lighting up everything so far seemed to work very well I had to wait on my other fans at this point so I'll show you here in a second what I decided to do from here. And that is install two 20 millimeter fans here on my Kraken. So I got a push-pull going with the stock fans. It barely clears my RAM there, but um, it only covers it a tiny bit. Not too worried about it. You can still see the white in the RAM. This backspace is really open. Not sure what I want to do with that yet. Maybe make a custom plate, but we'll see. I thought about maybe putting fans back there, but I'm not sure. At this point, after I've messed with it for a while, you can't fit fans back there. It's just not going to fit. So I decided to use the bottom space for my 40 millimeter fans. Two of them fit down there, as you saw in the beginning. So I'm really just trying to figure out where I could fit fans at this point because I got so many. <laughs> And this is what I came up with, like I said, my two on the bottom, 
two 20s on my Kraken and then I could fit another 20 millimeter up top just because so I put it up there why not I had it a problem so the screws go up a little high and just push up against the filter so there's a you know just a little space in here kind of pisses me off bothers me not too sure how I'm gonna fix that but it is what it is right now we'll see what I can do about it it's not too noticeable just because the way the my computer sits but yeah still anyway onto the back in this freaking rat's nest I had to deal with so all these fans come all these connectors right so I gotta connect them into the controller so only three can go into each controller so I have freaking three controllers I gotta figure out how to put in the back of my case and connect them all and line them up right and yeah it's it was glorious let me tell you still had a long ways to go on my cable management but here's where I can put the controllers so those hard drive cages I just took an extra one out clipped it in there and then velcro they come with velcros so I velcro them two under the hard drive cage and one in there right there and I'll get more into how it looks here in a little bit with the glass on it so checking to make sure everything plugged in right we're gonna boot her up boom and there's all the fans lighting up so that was good news now I just have to figure out on a controller which ones go into which and sync them up with the color scheme I want you know I'm going for that blue and orange Bronco scheme so yeah I messed with that for a while it is a pain in the ass having to use those controllers for your color scheme but once you get it set it up BAM here it is finally how I wanted it my blue and orange kind of look purple on screen but they're blue and here is the old rip off the plastic fail man oh my god I did that and then realized there's another plastic piece on the inside of the glass I didn't take off oh my gosh what a noob and then I take it off and that's how it looks so yeah that was awesome not the first mistake after pulling off the plastic as you'll see here in a second cuz you know I'm awesome gonna go for that front plastic rip off and freaking fail again look at the damn door freaking in the reflection I didn't shut the white door so look at that. oh my gosh I just ugh. so let's close that ah much better there we go oh man I suck at this guys sorry but hey third time's a charm we still got the back I'm gonna show you the cable management first of what I got so these little controllers light up blue or red depending on how your speed is uh, it's not pretty it's not perfect but the way my case is facing I'm not really gonna see this side so I didn't really work too hard on cable management so so see as the glass is on it's a little dark and you can hardly see those cables anyway okay here we go well didn't get a loud rip but hey there it is so like I said doesn't look too bad and anyway that's gonna be facing on the back here so mainly the front there and the side is all I care about so not too shabby I think so yeah but some people be complaining man they be complaining how dark it looks how those RGB fans are dim but I like it, it looks it's a clean look I like how it's so dark ish in there that it hides the black cable so you don't have to worry about your cable management too much so you know I'm really digging it with just the fans and few LEDs I have in there and the cracking going off so I have no complaints maybe put in that back plate do something in that open spot but that, that's about it really when it comes down to it it's all what you want what your preferences are and I'm happy and so that's all that matters so here's my little mostly finished setup you know I always be tweaking got some things to upgrade but I approve snacks approves hope you guys approve hope you guys like this build video if you did don't forget to like and check out some of our other videos thanks for watching I'll catch you guys later